More and more companies across the US are working towards decarbonization to help solve one of the greatest global challenges, climate change. Understanding all of the terminology like net zero and additionality and how to get started can be tricky. That's exactly what we're covering today. So stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. I'm Diego and this is Going Solar with Pivot Energy where we cover all things solar energy, commercial solar, solar financial incentives, and community solar. Finding success in today's market means much more than releasing the next great product or service. There are new underlying expectations and everyone should incorporate climate change solutions into their developing business model. But with so many terms flying around, it can be difficult for modern companies to understand how to appease everyone. This is where environmental, social, and governance, also known as ESG goals, come in. ESG is a business framework for considering the climate, consumers, employees, and more. You can learn about it in this video. As companies work further towards meeting ESG goals, decarbonization is often a key consideration. So what does decarbonization mean? There's a laundry list of eco terminology and concepts to learn, but they all boil down to one all encompassing word, decarbonization. The term decarbonization refers to the process of reducing your overall carbon footprint and aiding the transition to a low carbon economy. This type of economy, which places emphasis on sustainable corporate actions to sequester greenhouse gases is more important than ever. The effects of climate change are no longer easy to ignore as we see increasingly drastic weather patterns patterns, species extinction, pollution, and natural disasters. So finally, federal, state, and local governments are taking action to curb the emissions emitted by corporations and businesses. In fact, the Biden administration set a goal of securing 100% clean electrical grid by 2035 and reaching a net zero carbon emissions by 2050. As you'd expect, this has affected all sorts of legislation, including the passage of the 2022 Inflation Reduction Act, which extended the 30% solar tax credit by 10 years. Some states also have clean energy mandates, which further incentivizes companies to change their energy consumption. To achieve decarbonization, all aspects of the economy must change, from how energy is generated and how we produce and deliver goods and services to how land is managed. Solar power is a major contributor in that change, and it's a path to a clean energy future. Like I mentioned, decarbonization is an all-encompassing word used to describe multiple aspects of the fight against climate change. With that being said, let's take a look at some of the other terminology commonly used alongside it. Starting with the term net zero emission, or just net zero. Net zero refers to the balance of all greenhouse gas emissions, offsetting an equivalent amount of these gases by removing them from our atmosphere. It focuses on all emissions, including CO2, methane, nitrous oxide, and more. Lots of companies are touting net zero emissions and it's sometimes used as a greenwashing buzzword. Net zero emissions doesn't always mean that the company is taking measurable steps to remove emissions from the atmosphere, like switching to clean energy or removing environmentally hazardous aspects of their business operations. Instead, a lot of companies purchase carbon offsets for a short-term fix. Carbon offset credits can be purchased and sold, meaning companies don't necessarily have to change their business model or operations to be labeled as a carbon neutral company. Don't get me wrong, offsets can be a good short-term fix, but the reality is that in the long run, we cannot offset our way out of the climate crisis. More substantial operational changes are needed. We go into depth on all the complexities surrounding offsets in this video. Check it out and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos on sustainability and clean energy. Another term you'll likely hear on your decarbonization journey is additionality, which is a market-based representation that the environmental commodities you buy will actually result in lower greenhouse gas emissions. This means that in the absence of your funding, a positive environmental result would not have otherwise occurred. To qualify as a genuine carbon offset, the reductions achieved by a project need to be additional to what would have happened if the project hadn't existed. Determining the additionality score of a project isn't straightforward since it hinges on the counterfactual question of what would have occurred in the project's absence. Additionality scores for carbon offsets also range from 0% to 100%, which makes it harder to categorize and quantify the impact of an environmental project or initiative. However, it's a useful term to express how investor-owned utility compliance buyers 
and voluntary corporate buyers can directly induce new renewable energy generation. At this point, you might be wondering how to decarbonize your business or organization while actually supporting clean energy. Luckily, there are steps you can take toward decarbonization starting today. Getting started with decarbonization can be daunting, but pivots here to be your guide. Let's go over the five steps for taking action to reduce your carbon footprint. Step one, identify your goals. Determining whether your end goal is to appease shareholders, attract new environmentally conscious customers, or benefit the planet will influence your decision making. Gathering a team and ensuring everyone is on the same page will save you hours in the long run as you drive these initiatives forward. Step two involves an operational audit. You'll need to review your day-to-day -day operations and calculate your scope one, two, and three emissions, which you can learn more about in this in-depth video linked below. This is the best time to do competitive research and determine things like how your company fares within your specific industry, what other industry leaders are doing differently, and how difficult it would be to mimic or surpass them. Step three is all about optimizing energy efficiency. So start with the low hanging fruit. This can include upgrading to more efficient lighting or other office equipment, installing HVAC systems, and implementing energy saving practices like turning off lights and machinery when not in use. Once you've done the basics, step four is taking action to invest in renewable energy sources like solar, which is one of the most impactful moves towards decarbonization. Depending on your location and energy needs, you may be able to generate your own renewable energy or purchase renewable energy certificates or RECs from a third party provider. We have videos on community solar and how to buy and sell RECs, so check them out after this one. Plus, there are ways to go solar with zero upfront capital and even without installing it on site. Our solar financing playlist covers methods like PPAs, VPPAs, virtual net metering, loans, leases, and more. The fifth and final step is carbon offsetting. Business owners can offset emissions by funding projects that reduce or remove greenhouse gas emissions elsewhere, like reforestation or clean energy projects. By purchasing carbon offsets or renewable energy certificates, you can balance out the carbon emissions your business produces and support the transition to a low carbon economy. As we mentioned before, offsets have varying impact depending on their additionality score. That's why it's important to consider your end goal when purchasing offsets. Now is the time to start working with a trusted partner and participate in accelerating this world-changing shift towards decarbonization. By taking a strategic and proactive approach to decarbonization, you can position your business as a leader in sustainability and meet the growing expectations of investors, clients, and employees. The road to decarbonization is full of twists and turns. That's why it's important to work with a trusted partner like Pivot Energy. We're a turnkey solar developer that plans, manages, finances, builds, and maintains solar projects. Plus, we help companies adopt and support clean energy with solar renewable energy certificates and other offsite solutions. As a certified B Corp, we are committed to developing highly impactful projects, tracking hourly emission data for our projects using third party tools, and signing on to the 24 7 Carbon Free Compact. The Pivot Team is here to be your guide on the path to decarbonization. Learn what it's like to work with us here, and don't hesitate to leave a comment below with any questions you may have. If you're ready to explore decarbonization for your business or organization, reach out to me using my email listed in the description or head to pivotenergy.net. Give this video a thumbs up if you've learned something new today and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to stay updated on all things commercial solar, community solar, and solar financing. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.